Welcome back to the channel. We're out in the garage again today. Working on something a little different. Right here. This is my frame for my uh, Monte Carlo. It's out of a Malibu for the Monte Carlo. Very, very similar. Uh, the only difference in this frame versus the frame that's currently under there is it's about two inches shorter in the front. So where the uh, the bumper bolts to is about two inches shorter. So I'm gonna have to figure that out later. Anyway, what we're here to do today is hopefully come up with a plan to uh, correct some of the things on this frame that uh, I've been wanting to have done. So a couple years ago, I sent this frame out to a chassis shop. They boxed uh, the, the inner frame rails. They notched the rear of the frame for uh, larger tires. They added some bracing in here to the nine inch for me. A couple other little things. Um, the problem I have with it is the notch isn't far enough forward of the tire. So currently it has an eight inch wheel with a 275-60 tire and it fits just fine. I think it's like a four, four and a half inch backspace wheel, I forget, um, and it's fine. But if I wanted to suck the tire in a little, um, if I put a 315 on it or 29, if, if I went to anything taller or wider, or if I even just wanted to move it in, it would hit the frame, the, the notch, is just not far enough forward. It, it is about at the face of the tire right now, the front face of the tire. So I need to take, comfortably, I would like to take about two inches off if, if it's reasonable. Um, so we'll have to come up with some sort of plan and figure out what to do there. Now, um, it is on the frame, but it isn't very structural. Uh, the rest of the frame is not gonna be moved. It's, it's pretty square and level. Um, so cutting that little two inch section out or inch and a half, whatever it's going to be, is not going to be that big of a deal. And um, it'll give me some practice to, to weld. So that's what I'm really looking forward to is learning how to do some more of the, I wouldn't call it fabrication because I'm not fabricating anything, but I'm just going to be cutting some pieces out and welding some plates back in. Uh, again, it's only going to be a couple inches and it's not very thick stuff. Um, I don't even know what I have. I have to see what I got laying around. I might be able to use the piece that I'm cutting out uh, as filler. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, that's the plan is we're gonna just try to go forward and come up with something to get this notch fixed. So this is what I was talking about, uh, what we're needing to do here. So as we can see, the frame is notched. Um, took quite a good chunk out of it uh, to get these tires and bigger tires even put in. As you can see, the notch goes all the way back to the body mount back here. And there's plenty of room back here. Um, as you can see, there's, there's over a fist's width there. But up front, there's... Uh, there's like uh, uh, less than two fingers width. Um, and that's a problem because we can see the front of the tire here. If we extend it out, it's the front of the frame. So if this tire was moved in less than two fingers width, it would hit this corner of the frame. So what I want to do is essentially cut this out and move it up. That's it. So just take this section, bring it up an inch or two, you know, from essentially here. I would like to bring it up another inch or inch and a half something like that so i just need to measure it out and figure out uh what all needs to be done uh i'm not sure i guess we're gonna have to go back to this area we could probably go on a 45 um not sure if that would make it harder or easier um that's that's what i want to plan out now is try to figure out what's the best way to attack this All right, the planning stage is all done. Uh, didn't take very long, honestly. Um, but what I did do is I ruled out the angle cut versus the L cut, which I'm gonna do. Um, so the angle cut, the idea was I was just gonna cut a 45 on there, weld a plate in, you just got the four sides to weld. I thought that would be an easier way. You get the notch done, there's plenty of room. 
but in fact, I think cutting the L out is gonna help me out a lot better. Um, reason being is if, if I cut it out, I essentially have a box that's missing just two sides. If I flip that around uh, the X and the Y axis, so the box is currently like that, now if I flip it around, it's gonna fill the hole I just cut it out of. Uh, as long as I don't cut it wrong, I guess, uh, it should fill the hole I just, I'm gonna take it out of. So the advantage to that is it's already good known metal that I have on here. Um, and I should be able to just put it back into where it came out of. Obviously I'll have to trim all the stuff off that I'm not gonna use um, that is currently the frame. I obviously just wanna measure to whatever thickness it's currently set at, and then from there, just uh, make it the same. So uh, the other thing I figured out is the depth I wanna go. So I, I made marks at one inch, one and a half inch, two inches. And after looking at it from a top-down view, one inch doesn't really give me much of an advantage where I'm at right now. And two inches looks like it's way more than I need to be. So I'm gonna split the difference and go with that one and a half inch mark and uh, cut it out. And we're gonna see what we get out of it. I think it's gonna work again. I don't really know. Um, we're just kind of shooting it and seeing what happens and uh, we'll go from there. That piece cut out as you can see here uh, not perfect by any means I just use this uh, angle grinder uh, all right so here's the piece that came out of it it's right in there like that um, the plan was to take this and hopefully invert it like so and fit it in here but because of the sweep of the frame uh, here and down here you can see the, uh, the piece has some curve to it so when it goes in here that creates a gap on the top and the bottom of an overhang so that isn't going to work uh, for filling this in unfortunately i was really hoping that would uh, be the case but it looks like i'm going to have to get some metal uh, I might have some stuff here that'll work. Um, first thing I'm going to do is clean up this. There's like a little piece here. And there was a double wall on this piece. So I had a little trouble cutting through that. I couldn't see that it was double walled. So uh, next up is to clean this all up and then uh, find some metal to put back in there. all cleaned up over here after I hit it with the uh, little flap wheel I took a, a pair of calipers probably not the most precise ones but good enough for this I measured the frame thickness uh, on the wall and I got somewhere between uh, 0.11 and 0.13 uh, varying whatever I was measuring uh, the box that was done on the frame earlier that is about one two five uh, to one four, so it's very similar in thickness. Uh, I don't know what gauge that is, maybe 14 or 16. I'm not really sure. I'm not the greatest with uh, that stuff. But anyway, uh, I took this piece of steel that I had uh, laying around, and I was going to use it for something else. Measured it up. Unfortunately, on average, it's about 0 0.07, 0 0.08 in thickness. The thickest parts I could find were 0.1. So we are not going to use this. It's not really worth cutting this up uh, just for this. There, it's easier just to go get a new piece of flat steel. Plus it's a box and it's not the same size as the hole. So I would have to cut the box down the center uh, and make it flat. And it's just not worth it. It's easier just to get a flat piece. So I'm going to head over to the local steel shop and see what they got in stock. Hopefully some smaller scrap pieces they have there 
that I can just grab, cut up, and throw in here. Um, gonna have to obviously start on the other side, and uh, that's what I'll probably do now is get that going before I head out to get the steel.